So what's the difference between uh, average rate and instantaneous rate and initial rate? So average rate first uh, is uh, the rate over a period of time. So uh, if you were to write this, you would have delta meaning change. And um, for instance, we're dealing with concentration uh, in chemistry. So I will have it as C divided by uh, delta T. So what this tells you is that T is changing from, for instance, T1 to T2. It could be, T1 could be an hour or um, in seconds, whatever the unit, but time is changing. So average rate is measured over a period of time. However, instantaneous rate is actually the actual rate at a given time. So T is set for instantaneous rate. So T could be uh, one hour, two hour, three hour, uh, it doesn't matter, but it's a, a specific point. It's not over a period of time. And then uh, lastly, the initial rate is uh, the rate at T equals zero. So in a way, uh, the instantaneous rate is uh, actually uh, instant uh, I mean initial rate is actually like uh, instantaneous rate but the time is set to zero because initial by definition means at the very beginning so t equals zero so if you are um, to make this a little bit more clear uh, let me explain this in terms of something that you understand or you see on a daily basis for instance uh, in a car if you look at the speedometer and let's say uh, when you're living from home or when you start driving, that would be, uh, so when you start driving, start driving from a stop sign or from home, uh, that would be initial because T is zero, right? And then uh, let's say you're on the freeway uh, at uh, t equals uh, five minute, and you read uh, the speedometer reads uh, the velocity to be, let's say, fifty meters, or I mean kilometers or miles. Uh, it can't be meters uh, per hour, right? So um, now, if you want to find the instantaneous rate, then uh, V, the speedometer, is giving you, you're reading the instantaneous rate because you're looking at the speed, or speed is rate, right? So uh, at a specific point, time, five minutes. And let's say now uh, you want to, okay, so here T equals zero initially. Now you want to look at uh, the average rate from t equals zero to t equals five minute. Then now you're looking at uh, average rate because what you're gonna do is uh, take the initial point and then the final point, which is a, a five minute, and average it out basically. So I hope this is clear. Um, if not, there are other examples too. So let me know if this is helpful or not. Um, that way, you know, I know what to do next time. Thank you guys.